this year. Just like a chip off the old block. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, old man. Happy birthday to me. 45 years old today. Hayden's about to be 21. And it was probably one of the best birthdays I've ever had. Hey, I was sober. I'm coming up on 20 months sober. Uh, four months and one week in the gym. Lost about 21 or 22 pounds. You're not going to hang around? For, you're not going to? I thought I could get him on here. He was playing Spider-Man, but. Faja. Yeah, happy birthday, Faja. Blaine started that, like, I don't know, when he was like 12. I think he got that off of Austin Powers. So, yeah, 45 years old today, and I put on my Notorious Dad shirt after losing 20-something pounds, and surprisingly, it, like, it's, it doesn't fit up at the top anymore. It fits down here. But just six months ago, it was like the reverse I look like a potato with uh, just like pencils sticking out of it. This was flabby, and this was tight, meaning my belly was flabby, and I didn't. I'd lost most, or not all, but I lost. I lost. I, I had lost a lot of my muscle tone. So today, I celebrated in a way that I usually don't celebrate. I had my Two of my boys here. I got half the cheerings here. And Blaine made me the, 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 the greatest pancakes I've ever had. He's on this, uh, well, he's the one who's gotten me mostly into working out. Like, the kid, like, weighs every calorie. He weighs every ounce of everything he prepares. And he started preparing, like, smaller meals and now he's in the kitchen longer and longer and longer and now he's getting where we go to the store we're getting like not just basic ingredients um, vanilla extract and xanthan gum and uh, every kind of spice under the sun and he makes his own jams and so he made me uh, pancakes and believe it or not he used like it had like 30 grams of protein but only like 600 calories, and it was this massive plate. And it's he uses actually uses Jello, like the powder stuff for some of the flavoring, and then natural fruits, and I don't know what all else. Yeah, some uh, Kodiak, Kodiak uh, pancake mix is the base. But he'll grind up oats like dried oats and grind them up. And he's been doing it for ever since we moved into this little little shack which is very tiny, but it's still bigger than the sailboat. I don't miss that. He and I are both, he's about an inch and a half taller than me, and we were both doing like this every time we walked around in the boat, giving us all crooks in our, cricks in our necks. So that was a lot of fun. And then my neighbor, she went out of town, and before she left, she brought over a shitload of bananas. I didn't realize... I mean, I knew I was in Florida and there's oranges, but there's, I've seen a lot more banana trees here than I have orange trees. Like, the bananas grow wild. Like, in, where I'm from, in West Texas, you got mesquites that grow everywhere, and they're thorny and they're gross. The banana trees, basically, they're that wild. They're everywhere. And I didn't realize what I was looking at when I saw the banana trees, and she brought me all these bananas. Like, holy moly. And they're real tiny, though. They're, they're a lot smaller than a regular banana. Anyway, she's going out of town, and she showed me how to trim and take care of the bananas around here. And come to find out, around my little, my little place here, there's, they're in here, and they just grow wild. They're like, to the natives or the people who have been here a long time, I guess they're kind of a nuisance because they're kind of messy. So you just cut these big old trunks down about every three months. And then they sprout back 
And within 90 days, you've got bananas. So I got a bit of a, a tan today, being out in the sun. Uh, then we went to the gym. Oh, and with my uh, my pancakes, I always have my... Uh, I've had to go to decaf coffee. I'm that old. I've had to go to decaf coffee, but I've started... I cook it. I got this from being in the sailboat. Uh, I, I heat my water up in a kettle. It just whistles when it's done. And I don't know. There's just something nostalgic about that. And then I got a French press that I put it all in. And then I've got my cute little my mugs from Jayla. She's a friend of mine that makes these badass mugs. I've got two of them. One's Chulu and one's a Ouija board. And I love them. In fact, I'm just going to help her out and put a link in the description if you like them. Because they're really cool. So I had my decaf coffee and weighed in at 198. It was 197, so I've put on a pound. That could just be water, though. That's another thing I've learned from Blaney Boy is the, the, the value of, well, drinking a lot of water and not drinking alcohol, but of watching your diet, you know, watching, they call them macros, and I don't, quite understand the full definition but he's always talking about macros this and macros that you've got to have x amount of calories you've got to have x amount of protein and you got to have x amount of carbs and you got to fit all of it together and if you put too much of one and not of the other then things just don't go right but and i'm not as good as he is but i'm a lot better i've been keeping my calorie count down to about 1300 a day can't wait for that to be over i've got about 10 maybe 15 more pounds to lose and then i want to like stay there and if i gain weight it'll only be water weight and or muscle and i can't wait to get back to eating just a little bit of like i used to because i love mexican food it's my favorite food of all time i find everywhere i go i've like chasing the kids from Every time they moved somewhere else, I always uh, would stop, if I could, and find these. The more hole-in-the-wall it is, Mexican food place. Oh. But now that I'm on this diet, I, I, don't, I don't eat any dairy, or else I'd still be, you know, pudgy and portly like I was. But every now and then, like, I just can't wait to get to that point to where where I can fudge past 1,300 occasionally or even semi-regularly, get up to 1,800 or 2,000. You know, worst case, instead of 45 minutes in the gym, I spend 55 or minutes or an hour and a half because I miss tacos. I mean, I still eat tacos, but not like the greasy ones. I miss the nachos, the big old nasty wonderful beautiful jalapenos cheese everything on them nachos just can't eat them that often so anyway then we went to the gym and uh let's see today was i used to keep the schedule with blaine but I, i can't i have to add four days the push pull legs and then shoulders and so today was my pull I got biceps and my traps and my back mostly. And um, it was just a nice day. It was a it was a nice uh, sober birthday. A nice physically fit uh, and mentally out of all the crap that has happened and still happening, I got to or I am, and I have, I'm in the best mental state that I've probably ever been in my life. I, uh, sometimes I think I get numb to everything that's happened, but sometimes I think I just want to disappear. One of these days I'm going to disappear, and y'all probably won't see me for a very long time, if ever, but for now, you just got to keep going and keep enjoying the ride. Um, the older I get, the more I realize I have got to t- 
take care of myself and make myself happy and do what I want to do. And I've come to realize that my happiness is nobody else's responsibility but my own. Coincidentally, everybody else's happiness is strictly up to them. It is not my responsibility or it's not your 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 evil ex's responsibility. It's not your wife's responsibility. It's not your husband's responsibility. It's not your parents' responsibility. It's not your teacher's responsibility. It's not your favorite politician's responsibility to make you happy. Your responsibility for happiness is all your own. And that's probably the most the the nicest lesson that I've learned lately and mainly today. I'm 45, just something about 45. 40 was weird. I started freaking out like over the hill. Now I'm like halfway through my 40s. I'm close literally today officially closer to 50 than I am 40. And so I got home and made dinner. Everybody just kind of makes their own dinner because our kitchen's so small, but it works for us. Started listening, lay down, listen to some '90s music. Oh, I, I I did listen to this. I've got this little jingle that they, this song that they always play, like always play. There's like ten songs, and it, apparently it's I never heard any of these songs until I started going to the gym. Now I've heard them every day for the last six, seven weeks that I've been here. <laughs> This isn't necessarily my form of music, but it's called Big Energy by this girl named uh, Lotta. And it's just a catchy little tune, and I find myself, like, humming along with it every time it comes on. It comes on once, maybe twice, depending on how long we stay. Every time I come in there, and I'm just, I find myself humming along to that tune every time it comes on. Well... The other day, I got home, and I was just curious, so I looked it up on YouTube, and oh, my God, I was not expecting that. A, she's very voluptuous <laughs> and gorgeous, and then you, I realized that I was listening to the, the clean version, the radio version, and so what she's saying, she's not saying big, big energy. She's saying something else, uh, big dick energy. And I had no idea that's what the song was called. So, yeah, yours truly has been humming around. Boy like you need a girl like me. Singing this song that I can, I know some of the lyrics, but I didn't know all the lyrics. And then even then what lyrics I did know, I knew the clean version. Then I saw the regular and I'm, I can only imagine what <laughs> people up there were thinking, okay, this dude's walking around singing big dick energy and, there's some other lyrics in there that are pretty vulgar and some that are I'm far too white to even mention on the internet. But I like the song. Now, it doesn't compare to my old school 90s rock. That's what I was about to say when I, after I got home. But I do like the song. It's it's hilarious. <laughs> I like the video. I like it. I like all of it. And I'll probably continue singing Big, Big Energy every time I work out because... I don't know, something about music, whenever you're doing something new and it's, it's the first time you hear it, we, we've all experienced it, it's, that's just going to be my song for the rest of my life when I'm like working out, I guess, no matter where I go. But anyways, I got home and just chilled and relaxed and started playing some old Stained, uh, some old uh, Nirvana some old, uh, oh, what's the name? Collective Soul. I love Collective Soul. Always have. And it's just, it was just a nice, it was a nice, fun, happy birthday. So thank you out there in internet land for all the happy birthday wishes to every from everyone. Uh, it, it's nice. It's certainly nice being sober. It's even infinitely you know us being in shape because i've finally finally got my groove back i'm getting some guns finally i've had guns when i was like in my 20s but 
finally got some motherfucking guns. It's fun. I love it. That and get my uh, getting my headspace in line to prepare for this upcoming, hopefully final fucking battle to get my 2017 court case finally cleared and finally over. Still, to this day, I've not heard from my own attorney. Uh, I keep getting these nice little reminders from this DocuSign uh, link that uh, the AG there, Robert Green, I believe, sent me that I've never have signed. It's something to do with if I decide to fire my attorney, all i got to do is sign here and I can work straight with them. But I'm not a lawyer. And something is fishy. Something just doesn't feel right. But every every morning, I get that same reminder from my Gmail. Hey, Robert Green from the AG's office sent you something to sign. In my experience, when somebody you know, or when someone you don't know is like pushing you to sign something and do something that you don't want to do, it's almost always a bad idea. So I think I'm going to just not sign that and just let everyone else that I've already called out in the past three three or four videos over the last two weeks, let everybody, especially all the old Odessa people that, uh, that, 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 that watched the video where I recorded, uh, well, what's his name, the, at the AG's office, and I called out those particular people. I hope they're all sweating and they're maybe watching this, trying to get a little bit of uh, information. You know, what else does he know? What else is he going to do? What's up his sleeve and X? I'm telling you, the only thing up these sleeves are these guns. But anyways, it's just not real nice to be 45 and sober and still have a clear, relatively clear mind in preparing for this final showdown, this final battle, whatever the hell is going to happen with this. The AG's already played a card that I know of. They want this off their books. They've already broke the law by uh, call, contacting me. So some say perhaps I broke the law by recording. We shall see. But uh, there's something about, well, I don't want to get into that. But anyways, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I, I don't know how long this is going to take. Uh, come, if nothing's happened by July 21st of this year, that will be the five-year anniversary. And yes, sir, Bob, believe you me, I'm going to make a big to-do about it. If it hasn't already been taken of and this finally be put to rest by then, this July 21st, you bet your ass, old notorious dad, old, Caleb, old crazy Caleb, Caleb, old Caleb is going to just make a big to-do about five years over fixing two sentences in my uh, mediation agreement from 2017 when I got uh, custody, primary custody of Blaney Boo with the, um, the right to designate his residence and uh, who, coincidentally, Blaney Boy is, uh, he's, he's, uh, he's now 18 years old. He's a legal adult. By July 21st, he'll be 19 because his birthday's coming up in June, as is Hayden's and London's. Last three of my kids all have, a, have June birthdays, and they are all two years apart. I mean, Parker's two years apart, too, but his is in March. But anyways, well, I'm going to get off here. Thanks so much for all the birthday wishes, and uh, it, it, it means a lot. You know, people say, looking good, looking good. You know, I, I enjoy being able to laugh at my old self, laugh at my old, fat, pregnant, fourth trimester-looking self, and saying, that's where I was, and I'll never go back there again. So, y'all have a wonderful day, and don't hit your cheerings.